Hey guys, True Gaming J here, bringing you another video today. Now, if you may recall, one of my previous videos was how to tear down a Nintendo 64 cartridge. Now, I also mentioned that video different tips and cleaning tricks and stuff like that on how to properly preserve as well as make your games look nice. Now, I figured in this video I'd go into more detail, specifically because I found my old copy of Mario Party 3. Um, unfortunately, I had some water damage. Uh, a while back and a lot of my stuff got all gross and stuff and it's not the best condition but as you can see here this is Mario Party 3 a little bit of more of a rarer N64 game but that's just a Nintendo thing where they only make a certain amount and then everyone buys them up and especially the Mario Party series since they're so popular now this is in not great condition as you can see here there is dirt and grime and this label, unfortunately, I can't do a whole lot with. I can maybe touch it up, but not a whole lot. So torn, got that weird residue there, and by the and the uh, ESRB rating right there. Now I'll touch this up as well, but the main issue, which is the giant eyesore of this, is the back. Now this water damage is extremely apparent, as you can see. The label, I don't even know if I can save most of this label. It's a little bit noticeable right there about what it's supposed to look like, but then you just have all this crap built up on top of it. I'm not sure if that's just some other paper residue that got, that this was uh, beneath, and then that water damage forced it to, I'm not entirely sure what happened. Hopefully, though, I'm going to clean this up and make it look as good as possible. Now... Since I already made another video on how to tear it down, I figured I'd cut the steps out, um, but I'll just give you a quick overview. In my little dish here, I have the two security bits that uh, hold in the cartridge, this one here and this one here, and for that, you'll need a 3.8mm security bit. Now, you use that, you take it out, and what you also need for the other two screws in here, it's on the inside, is a small... Phillips head screwdriver. Now you, can, I, I believe a standard size one usually works, um, but I just I found that in my precision screwdriver kit, this one worked very nice. So I went with that. Now the other thing you'll need is plenty of cotton swabs. I have a few here, but then I also have this giant container right here, because let's be honest, this is going to take a little bit more than a few cotton swabs to uh, buff that out. You'll need that along with some isopropyl alcohol. Now, you can use any percentage you want. Um, the higher the percentage, the more harsh and more potent it is, which isn't a bad thing, especially for cleaning. However, to be sensitive to this label that we're working on here, I'm going to try and salvage as much as I can. So I'm going to go with 70% isopropyl alcohol to make it a little less harsh. So, let me pour that into my little container here. I also like to let the screws sit in here and soak. Just because if there's any of that built up grime and stuff, you know, it, uh, it'll help them clean them up just a little bit. I could scrub them off as well, but I'm not too worried about that right now. So, let's get started. Alright, got our cotton swab here. Now, this just basically a back and forth of trying to get this muck and grime off and... It's never a fun time, but it is also very nice to see the end results. So you can see how much of that crud it's getting off there. So we're doing a good job. Now make sure you always double dip when you go in. You know you don't want to put too much time on one dirty side, otherwise it will you know, build up and then you're just smearing the dirt around. So as you can see, already a much, much bigger improvement just in that little spot. Now, I'm not going to make this video super detailed or anything, but I am going to clean this up, and I will be back, and I'll show you exactly what the giant transformation is. Alright guys, just got back, and I think this is looking a lot better. Would you look at that? Oh, that's crazy how much just a little bit of tender, loving affection can do. Now, there were a couple spots I couldn't completely get out. Uh... Mainly this little seamed area here. It looks like that is permanently stained. If you guys have any idea on how to get that off, that'd be great. Um, I have heard some tricks with magic, with uh, Mr. Clean magic erasers and stuff like that. Um, however, I've heard, I've only really heard it used to apply getting Sharpie off. 
so I'm not entirely sure. But if you guys have some suggestions, let me know because I always like to look my to uh, keep my cartridges looking all nice and clean and almost brand new is my is my uh, goal here. Now I did attempt to get some of the stuff on the label off. How like uh, there's this is considerably lighter. However. There's not much you can do with labels once there's been liquid or something poured on them, as far as I know. Um, you can't use isopropyl alcohol, even a small concentrate like the 70%, because of the fact that even if you have just the tiniest amount, it could cause more damage. See how this is so much more orange compared to the side here, right where, I'm, uh, where my left thumb is here. That is because of water damage. If you put even a small amount on a Q-tip or something, it's uh, it's it's not gonna work out very well. So unfortunately, the front label doesn't look too bad though. Um, it's not the best by any means, but doesn't look terrible. Now I saved this back label for the last part because I did everything else, um, but I wanted to save this back label specifically to show you guys just how much gunk is gonna come off. Now the same thing applies. If you put rubbing, uh, if you put isopropyl alcohol on a cotton swab and you attempt to get some of the gunk off the label here, it will affect the label. However, with all this stuff here, I think I'm gonna give it a try anyway because there's just there's too much gunk to justify. I mean, even if the label is completely gone, which it's already starting, as you can see right there and right there, there's holes everywhere uh, in the label. So if this label is completely shot then so be it. Um, so I'll give it a shot and we'll see what happens. Alright, so as previously mentioned, um, I did take all these screws and stuff off, so we're just going to pop this back label off just to make it a little easier to hold and get at. Now when we apply, very gently again, we're, we're, we don't want to destroy the label, we want to get a lot of stuff off. As you can see, just that small amount made my cotton swab pitch black. So it is coming off, and if you don't apply too much, and you do it very gently, we could potentially get a lot of this off. So what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to cut here, and then I'm going to get back to you guys. See, you can already see that little label clear up a little bit. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to fast forward here, or cut, uh, and let you know what comes up. <coughs> Alright, are you guys ready for the big reveal? We got the front here, top, side, and side. Now, it do, it's not the best, but it's the best that I could get it. Look at that. You can actually kind of make out words now. <laughs> Again, not the greatest. Like I thought, most of the label was ripped in a bunch of places. Um, however, I did clean up as much as I can without further damaging the label as far as I can tell. So, an option that I might consider, but I'm not entirely sure. Actually, let me know in the comments. It's something I've been pondering with. Is um, maybe getting a replacement label. I know that you can, uh, some stores online sell them. Uh, just a peel and stick kind of label. Like this, that you can put right on the back. Um, however, my only thing is that it does kind of deface the value of the cartridge afterwards because it's not an authentic label but I believe that it looks really nice so i um, still on the fence about that let me know in the comments but yeah so as you can see there's kind of a big difference a little bit of a Cinderella story for this game so yeah um, like I said I, I already made a video on tearing it down and cleaning out the insides of, an, of a Nintendo 64 cartridge so I'm not gonna go into great detail about cleaning the inside um, just as more just like a cart restoration of the outside kind of area. So let me know if you like these because I do have a, like I said, water damage um, damaged a lot of my cartridge games all the way from N64, SNES, Genesis, um, even handheld carts like Game Boy and Game Boy Color, Advance, all that fun stuff. So yeah, so just let me know if you want to see more like this. I'm always happy to make new videos for you guys, and I always like cleaning up and shining up my games to make them just that much better. So, alright, well this has been True Gaming J signing out. See you guys in the next video.